First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 61, verses 1 to 2 and verses 10 to 11. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favour from the Lord, and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord make justice and praise spring up before all nations. The Word of the Lord Second reading A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians Chapter 5, verses 16 to 24 Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. In all circumstances give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the Spirit. Do not despise prophetic utterances. Test everything. Retain what is good. Refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy. And may you entirely, spirit, soul and body, be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful. And he will also accomplish it. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. John, Chapter 1, Verses 6 to 8 and 19 to 28. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you, whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my dear children and my dear young people, today, it's the 17th of December, 2023, the Sunday of joy. The gospel given to us is from John, chapter 1, verses 6 to 8, and then 19 to 28. God is sending his messenger, a messenger to give witness to the light. He is not the light but a witness to the light that is to be born in the world. In other words, John is sent to give witness to Christ who will be the light of the universe. 
the people, the Pharisees, are questioning John. Are you the one who is to come? Are you not? And John is answering, I am not the Messiah. I am not the one sent. I am a prophet, yes. I am to prophesy about the coming of the Messiah. And he says, I am baptizing you with water, the water of the river Jordan. But the one who is to come after me will be baptizing you with the power of the Holy Spirit. It's a wonderful encounter. It is the first testimony by John to the light. Jesus is the light in our world. Jesus is the light in our body and soul. Jesus is the light to our family. Jesus is the light for our path. Jesus is the light in our world. John is giving witness and he has a certain pattern of life in a desert. It is a life of sacrifice that is lived by John in order to give witness to this light that we are going to celebrate in days to come. My dear brothers and sisters, my dear children and my dear young people, we all are called to give witness to Christ as the light of the universe. We cannot live in darkness. If we are living in darkness, the whole world will continue to remain in darkness. We have received the power of Christ, that power of light in our baptism. We cannot, we cannot forget it. We cannot even dare to not to live up to that vocation. Let us be the witnesses, the witness to the light of the universe. And he says, in fact, I will baptize you with water. The one who is to come will baptize you with the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit is given to you. 